So, on this drumstick, you know, where do you hold the stick? Do you hold it on the back of the stick here? Some guys do. Do you hold it, uh, you know, up here? Where do you, where's the good spot, the sweet spot of the stick, okay? So we're going to find that. I'm going to take my middle finger at the first crease, the first knuckle, and I'm going to just bounce the stick on the pad. Move it around, move it forward, see how it bounces, move it backwards, see how it bounces. And you're just going to find the sweet spot of the stick. It's not really the balance point of the stick, because the balance point would be like the center of the stick. This is more, I call it, I call it the bouncing point, okay? The point of the stick where it's going to bounce the best for you. And on the Vic first stick, it's right around the American flag. So you put the stick on your finger, give it a bounce, okay? Take your hand, wrap it around the drumstick. Okay, now how do you hold the drumstick? Now there's lots of different ways to, you know, to hold the drumstick. I'm just going to talk about how I hold the drumstick and how I've seen, I've, you know, checked out a lot of great drummers and this is, you know, a lot of them have these same characteristics. So, you know, you don't have to hold your stick exactly like this, but, you know, this is a good starting point. So, I think of the stick as working as a triangle and I got this, this is a concept from Dave Weckl. The back of the fingers work as one group. This is the other part of the triangle, this is the other part of the triangle. So you got three parts of the triangle. One, two, three, okay? Thumb, index finger, and the back three fingers. So once you find the balance point, you're going to wrap your fingers around the stick, and the back three fingers are going to work as one unit, like this, okay? So what you want to do is put, the, put your hand up in the air, you know, like this. I put the tops of my, my fingernails are kind of facing the ceiling, okay? And I'm going to take my back three fingers and work them as one unit and work the stick like this. So you don't want to really do it like this. You want to, you know, forward it won't work. You want to tilt your hand back to let the stick work for you. Okay? So, let the fingers work as one unit. And don't do this. You know, I see a lot of guys, when I first teach this in lessons, they start doing this type of thing. You know, you don't want that. You want to move slow and never lose contact with the drumstick. So let the stick move with your fingers, okay, the whole time. You just work that work that stick and let it pop into the crease of your hand right here. So if you if you stick out your, your arm, you got a nice straight line happening, right? The drumstick is now an extension of your body. Whereas if it was off to the side a little bit, you know, then you have kind of some weird angles happening. So that's a really good thing to do. You do that with the other hand. And just work that stick in your hand because that's how the stick is actually going to work on the drum pad, okay? So a couple things. When you're hitting the drum, the first thing I like to teach people is to take the the thumb and the middle finger at the bounce at the bouncing point of the drumstick and just work that stick like this. Okay, both hands. And then when that feels cool, when you can, you know, when you got total freedom, you're gonna hit the pad and just let the stick bounce straight back. Okay? So I this is an analogy of uh, I use the analogy of bouncing a ball and a lot of guys use the same analogy. If you have a basketball in your hand, throw it down, what happens? The ball shoots back up, right? You don't put the ball on the ground and pick it back up, which is the way a lot of people play drums. So if you're going to hit the drum, you don't want to hit it and then have to pull it back. You know, that's too much work. If you take the thumb and the middle finger, let the stick rebound naturally, you're only doing half the work. You know, you throw the stick down, the ball comes back by itself. That's pretty cool. That's, you know, that's everything. So um, what you want to do is just take that thumb and the middle finger, just work on hitting the pad and letting the stick fly back. Now you don't want to do it, I'm doing it too fast, I shouldn't even be doing it this fast to start with. When you do it, you just want to hit it one time. Now the first time you might hit it, it might stay down or something. Because most people aren't used, you know, a, not I shouldn't say most, but a lot of people are not used to using rebound on a drum pad. Especially beginners. So, hit the pad, let the stick fly back, okay? Just work on that. And don't, don't worry about speed, just, you know, go slow. Hit the pad, let it fly back. Same thing with the left hand. Hit the pad, let it fly back. Now you're going to find the faster you throw the stick down, the faster it shoots back. Okay? So once that's feeling, that might take, you know, who knows, you might do that for a day, you might do it for two weeks. Just it depends on how good it feels. When, you, when that feels good, then you're ready to move on to um, putting the rest of the fingers on the drumstick. So you got this, you go back to your main grip that we talked about doing this, right? And you're going to hit the pad, and you're still using the middle finger and the thumb. That's your main fulcrum. Now, some people swear by the index finger and the thumb. They play like this, and they say, hold it between the thumb and the index finger, right? I've checked out a lot of drummers, and all the people who I admire and who I think are really great drummers 
keep a loose index finger. So I, I do this. Take your hand like this and uh, squeeze these two fingers together, right? So they're tight, pretty tight, like you're not super tight, but like you're holding a drumstick, you know, fairly tight. And then move the back of your fingers. They move, right, but not nearly as free as this, as if the index finger is loose, these back fingers can fly. See that? They, they move, but not f nearly as free as that. So if that index finger is tight, forget about using the back three fingers, you know, which is what this whole thing is about, right? So keep the index finger loose, and then the back three fingers can move. The whole hand is loose. You're loose, right? Okay, so loose, loose, loose. You can't say that enough. Loose, loose, loose. Be loose. Okay, so after we've got this thing together, then we're going to get the back three fingers working the drumstick a little bit and just start working on hitting the drum, letting the hand be open, let the back three fingers move the, on the stick a little bit. Okay, so you just start slow. So just like this, we were here, right? Now we're here. Should feel the same. You throw on the stick down, it's bouncing off the pad, shooting back. Okay? That is basic, that's your basic technique for how to hit a drum, how to hit a, a, a drum, any drum, a cymbal, a drum pad, a tom-tom, a snare drum, anything, your head, <laughs> let it rebound, so have fun with it, and uh, well, coming up we're going to talk about single stroke roll, double stroke roll.